to the greatest of the greatest, a podcast that you never knew you needed, with interviews from people you have never met, or maybe you have once or twice, asking questions and knowing more than you want to know about them. You are listening to Full Buddy Cast. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for listening oh, to another episode of Full Buddy Cast. A uh, random one, uh, Super Bowl special edition. I feel like we've done like three of these already because the Niners keep going to the Super Bowl. Not thrilled with that. But as a man that's not threatened, never threatened, never feeling like he's threatened, a good dude, a guy of all guys, me will take and move my pride aside and I will say to myself it's not this is bigger than you you need to have a person on who is a bfffffff you've officiated their wedding or her wedding yeah their wedding Wait, stop I haven't introduced you yet <laughs> I'm called Uncle Trav in the household. Been over watching games with her parents, surprising them with three little children out of the trunk of my car, pretty much. (laughs) We went to Yellow Wolf together because that car works and that car works. Worked at Safeway forever. Mariner Games. Trying to think of all the stuff we've done. Done a lot. We we're actually kind of mom and dad. You were a bridesmaid to a Kelsey schoonover. Oh. Hey, Kels. Bridesmaid. I was a bridesmaid, maid of honor slash officiant. Officiant. Co-owner with her husband. Fantasy football. Fantasy football. Jenna Brasahashi. <laughs> Jenna Brassard. Quite, quite the intro. Jenna Takahashi. Formerly Jenna Takahashi. Now Brenna. Brenna. <laughs> Jasanasi. <laughs> <laughs> I've had some beers. <laughs> I've had some beers How, tonight. Have you? I'm going to Vegas tomorrow, and so I'm just super stoked. Um, what time do you guys leave? After work, so I got to go oh. through. <laughs> oh, I was thinking you guys are going to be there all day. <clears throat> no, we fly in Friday night, fly back Saturday morning. No, I'm kidding. <sighs> no, I'm kidding. Fly out Friday afternoon, two nights for free. Our Venetian yeah. rep reached out to us and said, "Hey, we want you to, you know, not we want you, but do you." you- you you're an me? influencer. I'm an influencer. You're an, they invited Enum you for influencer. Super Bowl weekend. Like you're a huge deal in Enumclaw, Washington. <laughs> well, I mean, you must be, though, because God only knows how Dude, expensive I, hotels are down there right now. Like, that actually is a pretty big deal. It's crazy. It is a big deal. And I looked, I went on there, like some ju- some schlub right now that wants to go, like, at this point, try to rent a- rooms there. Yeah. 800 on Friday night. Oh, shit. 2,600 <gasps> Saturday night. No way. Yeah, 1,800 Sunday what? night. What? Yeah. At the same hotel same that you hotel guys room. got free. Same hotel room. Yeah, no, that's legit. That's crazy. That's crazy. I could call, I would call you an influencer. It's not, it's not because of the influencing. It's because we lost, <laughs> we, it's because we gambled there all the time and they're like, still, they invited these you. These guys you lose a, a lot. <laughs> Just imagine if they were here Super Bowl weekend and how much they would lose. Uh, what are your guys' plans? I know you, this is you supposedly interviewing me or whatever. Yeah, but, we'll get to you in a second. You but, uh, Super Bowl, it, your team's in the Super Bowl. Yeah, but then we lose. We've lost the last two that you guys we've are gone favored. to. We'll get to all this. Oh, God. That well, makes me even more nervous, though. Have to have, so put it right now, have to have the biggest Niner fan I know. What are you? What are you doing? I'm posting this on Facebook real quick. Already? A, a picture of you. Just the picture. Oh, so let that, me see that picture. Uh, uh-uh. uh. It looks good. Did you want to throw some peace signs up and have a photo, a camera around your neck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a picture together. 
Uh, I have lost weight. Let's take one together. All right, let's pick, take one together. Should we take one of each other taking one? <laughs> Hold on. Let's do it. Hold on. 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 All right. Wait. 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 You look at mine. I look at yours. <laughs> All right, hold on. You gotta send me that one though. Hold on, hold on. All right. You look over here. One, two, three. Inception. (laughs) Picture of a picture of a picture. Inception. All right, so I'm gonna post this real quick then. All right. Have to have the biggest Niner fan I know. Parentheses. Only when they are winning. Parentheses. What? You had nothing to do with them in the, in the losing in the losing seasons. Well, nobody. Are you really? I'm a huge Seahawks fan. <laughs> Go, Bobby Wagner. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they were. They sucked this year. Gino's awful. I mean, he's not Lamar. Oh, what did you to Lamar? really bring? A Stanley freaking... Do you That's have... That's not a Stanley. That is not a Stanley. That thing's the... That thing might as well be hooked up to a freaking... Oh. That's a massive. What's yeah. it called? This is a simple modern Dude, water that, tumbler. That is, the, that is the least simple thing I've seen <laughs> in my life. Very modern, though. It is very simple, though, compared to the Stanleys. Uh, she beat out... Roger and Homer. Dude, Homer is a huge night. Where does he where does he live? Town. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so, okay. So Because Roger lives in and, like North Carolina or yeah, something. And he right? was originally from the Bay. But yeah. the thing with uh with Homer, I think so I've had him on a few times, and one of the times we were talking about like where did that come from? And he was just a huge he I I wanna say it was the Montana years, Steve uh Steve Young. Uh, oh, They're Jerry Rice, years. Roger Craig, like yeah. yeah, Frank Gore, his rookie year with Joe Montana. <laughs> oh, Frank. You hate on Frank Gore so bad. He's been in the league since 1985. <laughs> he's retired now. Yep. But the funny thing is, he's Frank Gore the third, and he's the first player. If you guys, you guys didn't know this, seriously, Frank Gore is the first player. You know how remember Ken Griffey Jr. and Ken Griffey Senior? Yeah. They father, father yeah, son, son played the yeah. same every same game back to back home runs. Yeah, Frank Gore the third. Yeah, not only played with Frank Gore the second. No, he's Frank Gore the first. Sorry, he's Frank Gore the first. What? He played with his grandson. <laughs> Just <laughs> I set up this joke. Oh, and you executed horribly. Yeah, it was pretty bad. I don't, I don't, I don't understand stuff. So we <laughs> took a picture. I, you need to take a. Uh, oh then, wait! Do I need to send you mine though? No, no, no. You just, just do it in the comments. We took a picture uh, of each other taking a picture, taking a picture each other of each other. And just keep it going <laughs> <laughs> of a picture of each other. We took a picture of each other taking a picture of each other. Actually, I'll say. You know what I'll say? Each other. Took a picture of each other taking a picture of each <laughs> Dumb. But yeah, these truly marks are hitting hard. Um, by the way, sa- uh, sad shout out. Almost a shit out. Because I do sad- I do shout outs. So think of a shout out at the end of the episode. <clears throat> you can shout out anyone. Anything. Anybody. Brock Purdy. Your husband. Freaking anyone. Okay. Or a We're shit out. To... Or a shit out. Which is like okay. something that you don't. Sh- it's like the opposite obviously of a shout out okay um but right now can i I'm, shit out you you can shit out me all, all you want <laughs> but the shout out or no the shit out is truly margs they're getting rid of them discontinued i love they're these getting beers. rid of the trulies yes really veronica, they're so good veronica we went on a girl's trip yeah veronica's like hey like all of them are just these flavors truly margs gone Completely oh the gone. margs the, the margs. margaritas the oh, trulies okay. are still there Gotcha. They're going for bold and bigger and blah, 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 blah. Oh, I think these are good. I might have to like buy a pallet of these. Yeah. This is my summer Save drink. Save them up. Yeah. Ever They're since good. last year. 
I don't like White Claws. Or, yeah, no, no, exactly. These, these are good. They got massive ones in Vegas. Oh, really? Tall boys. Yeah. And I was walk around just freaking pounding these things in Vegas. <laughs> Going there tomorrow, baby! Who's your airline? What? What? Where do you fly? Do you go Alaska, Delta? Do you Alaska. go Southwest? That no, Alaska. Because your we, dad, did your dad do it? Was he Alaska? We used to fly Southwest all the time growing up, but he worked for U.S. Airways. Mm. Yes. Are they still around? They merged with American or something. Okay. Okay. I don't know. They merged. They merged a bunch of different times. Bring that microphone so. down just a little lower. Because that's where the sound picks up. Better? Yeah. You're like literally. Better? Th- that's mo better. Okay. Um, but yeah, flying down to California, though, we'll always fly Alaska. And you're going to go. Are you going to California? Going to the Bay? I am. I just bought my ticket. And so how I, much was it? Uh, It was just under five. So it was about five. For round trip? Yeah. That's yeah. not bad at all. No. 250 down there, 250 yeah. back. And yeah. then what, when are you flying? I think it out? was higher, though, because I'm sure Obviously. people are going down there. Yeah. Because it does not normally. They're going to loot no matter what. Ugh. Win or lose, the Bay Area. But hey, I get to go. We're gonna. I get to go hang out with my family. I'm gonna stay with my cousin. Stay with my aunt one night. We all already them, got tickets to like some watch parties. All and, the big big Niner fans too. Yeah. Or are they as yeah. big as you? Uh, <laughs> my aunt just said she just. I mean, she loves the Niners. Yeah. But like she doesn't, have any Niner, she doesn't have any Niner gear. But she just got. <laughs> she just. She actually. So they were actually up here this week. Uh, saying hi to my parents randomly uh, i mean pre-planned? It, it was a short it was like very quick planned trip and so she brought up some niner gear for the kids though which was awesome and so i think when she went to go get the kids some gear she also got herself some stuff so they're huge basketball fans like they're big warrior fans okay and so like that's 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 their, their thing. thing yeah so they, and so, the Golden State but they do love on. the niners they love the giants and so yeah no we're all pumped about this yeah, my cousin and her her boyfriend is a big Niner fan. They just got a new dog. He's got the sweet little, yeah. like cute little Niners, like Niner uh, handkerchief thing. And yeah. you and, and and Joe's not going. Joe has to work all week. Guys. Plus, he hates California. I, I wouldn't say he hates he California. Hates California. He, doesn't, he doesn't like he traveling. Hates, yeah, okay, he doesn't like traveling. That's right. My fault. The kids aren't gonna go. It's just gonna be me. I get to have a nice little weekend trip by myself. Guys, I forgot about this. Let me just share this with you guys real quick. Oh okay, I will never let this go. I saw Joe at Safeway like three days ago, four days ago. <laughs> and he goes, hey, dude, you're looking good. And I'm like, yeah. I said, hey, guess where we're going? And he's like, where? I'm going to go Vegas for the Super Bowl. Oh, cool. That sounds fun. I'd invite you. But the last time I invited you, you said you were going to go. And then, and then you didn't, you didn't go. go. We're supposed to go to Vegas this in October with Circa. I had Jenna on board. Jenna was the one that was on board the longest, and then she bailed. Joe said, yeah, and then the next day, I never said, yeah, and then <laughs> bailed. You have to get him, like, on, you got to record him saying that. He still would say, he still wouldn't Yeah. Go. Is that still an option for this October? Are you guys still going to do it again oh, yeah, this I, year? I will go. It'll every, be an annual yes, thing for you guys? Yeah. Okay. I know that we will eventually get there. It's our anniversary weekend. So it's my birthday this 25th, October. Your birthday's in November. October, thank you. Your birthday's in May. April. <laughs> I had to go further. I had to go one month past, just like you. But your April now. Here's the thing. Let's let's say, let's say the let's say the number together of when your birthday is. You say you say what day mine is. Don't wait, wait. The number. You say, you thought it was November. The, the you were wrong. The I know date. your birthday's in October. No, you said November. I know your birthday is in October. I said that to be a jackass. I, I knew it was in April. Are we allowed to swear I said on May. Here? Yeah, I absolutely. You say whatever okay. the fuck you want. Oh. And I barely oh. swear. I barely swear. Okay. So okay. except when Joe when Joe says something to me. Probably shouldn't have sweared. Sorry that. So, Sorry about that, everyone so, that's listening. Si- side note, side note though, to you running into him at Safeway. Yeah. So he came home, he's like, So I ran into Travis. And he just kept staring at my hair the whole time. You, that guy. <laughs> and he's like, is there something wrong with my hair? What's okay. what's wrong with my I was like, well, he's probably just admiring your hair. That's he true. He doesn't have any. A thousand percent true. And the other day, though, for whatever reason, it just it looked like he had just gotten out of the shower. So I was staring at his hair. And he goes, what is wrong with my hair? He's like, that's exactly he, what is, Travis. Is he losing his hair? No. I think he's just. He's just, just maybe is he going gray? Stuff. Just take a look real quick. There we go. No, we're moving. Okay. I don't know if we stop recording there for a second, but this is but I love Joe because Joe is somebody uh, that 
when I have a conversation with him, we're so excited to see each other. We're like dogs. Like, yeah. And then after two minutes, you can tell he's just like, okay, I want to move he's on. He's over you? Yeah. <laughs> like, he's just like, I'm done. And then he's like, and then because then it gets awkward. And then he realizes that he's over me. And then he realizes that I realize that he's over, that he's over me. And then I just. And, and then, then you guys just get your phones out and yeah. sit on your phones yeah. the entire time. We need like an Eddie buffer. We need like a mic buffer. You is a great you're a great buffer as well. <laughs> where we can kind of like rip on you guys a little bit. And then it, we take the we take we need a third. So you just awkwardly stared at his hairline. I did. Once I realized that was his weakness, I'm like, this is how I get out of this conversation. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> But then I like to but the, the conversations with Joe always go like this. Hey, now it goes, "Hey, you, you, oh, you're going to bail on something like the Vegas trip again?" Cool. You're never going to let him. By the way, Lance is my best friend and by the way, uh oh, and then I go, "How's the Boston Red Sox doing starting <laughs> their opening It's at it's it's at it's in Seattle." Oh, really? Opening weekend Mariners versus Boston. Yeah, first so series Fox fans there first series that's kind of weird Adam's usually they're always a divisional yeah. game that's, yes that's really weird it's weird that they would start out that way huh. but it's usually the a's or but i'm just saying if, if you're looking to like surprise them with something because his birthday is uh actually we could just cross my crossed birthday yeah, is around opening opening day, day april 8th. back to birthdays april 8th no Ninth. i'm not even in april march oh yeah yes. that's right march March 31st. Nope. 30th. Nope. 29th. Yes. Yep. 29th. Nailed it. And What's you're mine? October 25th. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you looked it up real quick on your no! Facebook. <laughs> oh, let me just see, let's see where he's at. Um, all right. Let's see if anyone has liked or subscribed. Like or subscribe. I doubt it. No one has liked or subscribed. Did you put... Did you... Uh, did you put the... No. Oh, hair. No. Yeah. Zero post reach. No one's even looked at it yet. I think it's still loading, actually, unless you see it. Did, no, I can see it. Okay, cool. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Here's a what? picture Veronica just sent me. What? She said, never forget. Wait, is this, like, live? No, no, no. Oh. She just sent this. Like, What? This is me on the girls' trip after golf and consuming a lot of beers. This was I'm wearing actually the same shirt that I'm wearing right now. Is this what you're calling a beer? This is not a beer. Is this a beer to you? (laughs) This is not a beer. Oh my god! This is what you're. This is. You said you've been drinking a lot of beers. This is in April. This is in April. I want you to see this real quick. Come over. Don't. You're changing the subject. Look at this. This is me. I I fell asleep. This is just. uh, Look at that picture. Look how fat I am in that picture. Just a floating gut. That, what a beautiful leg. You, I always tell you, you have very nice legs. Thank you. That's the nicest yes. thing you've ever said to me. Yeah. Jamie says the very same Very nice thing. calves. I'm going to save this picture. I'm going <laughs> to Snapchat this thing. And this is... Screenshot This it? is screenshot. Yeah, screen Snapchat. Am I going to have to have Joe load up the kids and come pick me up? You had one beer, but so this probably, is not a beer. So probably yes. This is not a beer. Jenna, there you go. It literally says hard seltzer. Uh, I don't know if I can post that picture. That's a, <laughs> but I, but I will at some point. I will at some point. Maybe the Patreons. So I'll post that picture. Um. All right, let's talk Niners. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm trying to keep myself like. Is it surreal? Busy, preoccupied. Do you think? Does it? Do you? Well, has it sunk in that you guys have made it to the Super Bowl again? Like it was way more. I don't want to say exciting, but like when they went to the Super Bowl in what was that, 2012, with Kaepernick, they beat the Falcons and they ended up losing to the Ravens. Like because it had been so long. But the Niners have been either in the NFC Championship yes. or they've been going to the Super Bowl the last what four out of five years. So it's like it's not as maybe exciting. But I do feel like it feels different than the last two times. Do you feel like you should? Do, do you feel like you should be there? <laughs> Thank you, Dan Campbell. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you, Dan Campbell. Dude. Uh, oh man, that second half of that game though was 
so fun to watch. And I I mean, the entire season, they were the best team in the league. And they were always favored to go. They were always favored to win the Super Bowl. I Yes, I do. I do think that they 100% deserve to be there. Okay, so let me just give you a little background on that crap. Okay. <laughs> Dan Campbell. Thank you. Dan I la- <laughs> I'm flying out of Southern California after a week long, weekend long, amazing trip with friends. Lots of sun, some golf, some drinks, some good food, great conversation, good dudes all around. Are you taking a picture of me now? My fat gut? No. I'm sucking it in. No. Yeah, you are. No. <laughs> You're such a liar. No. So then I go and I and I I know the score. I know everything about the game. I have connections to I have the connection to the internet. And I pretend I don't. Were so you actually on the plane? Yeah, I was oh, on okay. the plane. So okay. I send a text to Jen. I'm like, hey, I don't have good connection here. Nothing's loading. I can only send texts. Can you please keep me updated on the Lions and the Niners What game? was the point of that? Was the point of that because you knew that the Niners were getting their asses kicked? And so... No, no, I didn't know. Because then what I could do, I could do one of two things. Well, how did you not know? You said you were getting updates. I could see that I, I, had, I had it. But... I, but I also think I sent the text prior to the game because I also didn't know. But then I saw that I could get it. And then I'm like, okay, this is one of two things. I can either pretend that I'm not even getting her messages and I can just ignore it in case the Niners go up. But Or anytime the Lions do something great. What's happening? Oh, what's happening? What's happening? Within a second. Yeah. And that's what I did. I mean, they scored Jameer Gibbs. I want to say scored right away. I think it was him. Then no. the Niners scored. Then there was another running. I think it was in Jameer, but I think it was somebody else, uh, the other running back for them. Then Brock Purdy throws an interception, and each time something good that the Lions is doing, what's I'm happening? like, hey, uh, it's been a few minutes. Uh, what's the uh, what's the update? And then she's like, Brock Purdy just threw a <laughs> half an interception. <laughs> so, yep. Yeah. And then get, we get to halftime. Now, there's people in front of me that are wearing their starter, like, Ooh. Niner jackets, too. Shout mm-hmm. out Zach Senna. I think he's got. He gave you yours, right? I want to. No. See. Well, I have two. I do. I have one from yeah. Zach, but then I also have one from my mom that was like just in pristine. Like I think she wore it once. This, this yeah. Joe, just Joe. It will never listen to this. Maybe Lance's best friend will, but uh, my best friend actually <laughs> will. Will. Uh, will. Will. Does Joe know about the Zach Senna gave? Oh, you probably. One, a prize. I don't. Possession. I don't wear that one. Yeah, because it's framed. No, it's it. in the closet. <laughs> Just like Zach. No, oh, God, Just Zach. in the in the closet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, so then halftime hits, and I'm super excited. Feel great. I think the score is like freaking twenty-one to seven. It's like something weird. Like it that. was twenty-one to seven. Yeah, twenty. They were yeah. So then we land third quarter, and we're we have to we're we're getting our bags we have to wait because we got the golf bags and we get to the freaking uh you know little van that picks us up takes us to the parking lot to get our car get in the car it's fourth quarter at this point and people have come back and i'm like wait the heck's going on here Oh, so you had missed probably what? I was wa- Did you miss the third quarter, basically? I knew what was going on based off of looking at the score, just like I was in the plane. But I didn't, but I'd be checking in and it'd be like, what the heck? Yeah. Like, I didn't know what how, how it happened, but the score is coming back. Yep. And then in the fourth quarter, we, we were able to put, turn on uh, ESPN radio or whatever, and we were able to hear Dan Campbell, man. <laughs> fourth and three. Does he have like a magic go for, eight let's ball? Go for it. I'm so pissed. Like there was like multiple times. He said, "That's what we've been doing all season. We're gonna we're gonna stay true to ourselves, dude. We're gonna go for it. Well yes. in field goal range. Well, well, yeah. I thank you, Dan Campbell, dude. Because they went for it twice. I'm so fourth mad. and fourth and three, and then fourth and two, and missed both times. I'm so mad. I'm so pissed. <clears throat> Oh, <sighs> anyway. So pissed. Then they come back in the win. Dan Campbell. But you guys made it. I had Christian McCaffrey on my fantasy football. Like two of them. I love oh. them. I love Christian McCaffrey. Oh, okay. Joe had him in his work league yeah. then. Well, yeah, no, no. He no. must have had him. He might have had him in. Uh... No, I had him in our league. Yeah, yeah. He's amazing. I, dude, so good. CMC stayed healthy. Yep. 
I like Greg Kittle. <laughs> Greg. Oh, jo- Greg. I like George Kittle. They're I like Alex Sylvie coaching the Niners. <laughs> he does kind of look like. <laughs> Silvicious. Yeah. Shout out to the Safeway days. Paul Sylvie's kid. Um, DJ'd my 30th birthday. Not your 40th, Not my though. 40th. That's Mike, Mike on the mic. Uh, DJ Mike Check. <laughs> but uh, there's really nobody on the Niners I don't like. I just, obviously they're a rival, but it's not yeah. like it used to be. What, like Kaepernick? You hated Kaepernick. And Harbaugh and like the Harbaugh. whining and the yelling. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Vern, I, I always liked Vernon Davis. But uh, but yeah, just like everything else was just, and then Crabtree and, you know, there was just a lot. I like Brandon Ayuk. I hate how good Debo Samuel oh. is. Um, He's so awesome. He he was, I hear he was so, like he was shaking in the locker room during halftime. And there wasn't a lot of pointing fingers and screaming. Like all Debo said was, give me the ball. And that's all he wanted. Did he do anything with it? Did he do anything with the ball? I don't know. Did he do anything? Yes. Did he score? He had a huge play. One play? Yes, just one. Was it? No, it was like the beginning of the second half. So what's your prediction for the Super Bowl? Oh, fuck. I don't... Do you have to ask me that? Yes. Oh, God. I'm the Martha... Wait, I'm the It's weird because the, the Niners are fa- betting-wise or whatever, right? They're like, what? One two, and a half. One and a half, two and a half. One and a half. It keeps going it back. It changes. It's it like between one and half, two, two and, and, and two and a half, yes, yes, one yes, and a half yes, yes, favored yes, yes. or whatever. But you talk to anybody, though... And they're always saying everybody thinks that the Chiefs are going to win. How can the Chiefs not win? That's but that's that's where you got. They are not as good as they were in 2019. The they, Chiefs. They are not. Their defense is not terrible. what it was. They really only have three great players, but they're three freaking amazing players. They got what Kelsey Mahomes, and then what Jones on defense. Well, yeah, and but then I Pacheco's mean, really cool. Pacheco's but, pretty good. The right Rashid Rice, he's been playing pretty well. But the Niners are stacked. Like, the Niners are the better team. Which makes you think, I need to bet they the Niners. Have, yes. But George Kittle. But everybody just thinks that because they have Mahomes, that there's no way that the Niners are going to beat Mahomes. George Kittle is and like. Is Purdy going to. Not as good as he used to be. They don't George? utilize them. They don't utilize them. Well, yeah, they have them. so many weapons. But CMC. So, so, so what do you tell <laughs> me? Are they going to go up? In the first they half, ha- they cannot come from behind like they did against Detroit and even oh, Green- and even Green Bay. Oh, is it because Dan Campbell isn't isn't coaching the the, the Chiefs this weekend? <laughs> they actually have they have Andy Reid. Andy Reid. The, they they have to come the out. And they that just they saw have a just shatter. had such slow starts the last two games, and that was not the regular season. Regular season, they came out and they scored early and they took the lead early, and they were not used to coming from behind. But these last two games, and we we went over this you and I on the phone uh, oh, I... few, a few years ago. Like, who are the still the returning the play the te- who are the players from the team that were up big heading into the fourth quarter and then gave it up at the very and, and lost. They lost it to the Chiefs. But who are Oh. So you got You're talking Kittle, about 2019? But they're they're, they're It was Jimmy playing. G. No, I well, know. I'm talking about your team. So so sorry, sorry. Not not What are you not, talking about? The Niners. So they this have year. this that said Kittle cuz Kittle was on it. Oh, you're talking about who is still on the team yes. now versus 2019? Who learned from the mistakes? It was Kittle. Debo was on that team. I think Bosa it was his rookie year. Yep. Was, I even think Greenlaw was there. Warner was there. Warner was there. Was there was no uh, no? Um, it was actually pretty. Gosh, who am I? Oh, no, Ayuk. Ayuk wasn't no. on the team yet. No. Um, yeah, it was only, so. There's probably CMC, like obviously five, maybe there. six or seven, maybe a long snapper. Um, I think you guys had your kicker was no. It was Gould. Was Joe? Yes. Bald, Moody. Bald Joe. He makes me nervous too. Um, their new kicker. I I really don't know. I have like I have I mean they have to win this game. They have to win Quest this game. Quest for six. Been going on for ten years. What's Shanahan's gonna be that coach that was he always got there but just could just never big it. win the big one. He could never Is he, he in the hot seat it. if he can't get it through? No. No. Probably not. No. Probably not. Because he's still every single year, he's somewhere. He's either at the NFC Championship game. No, 
Are you worried? I think Purdy, maybe. I don't know. Are you worried about Purdy? I am way more confident in Purdy than I ever was in Jimmy G or yeah. Kaepernick. Okay. So yeah. I feel way more confident, especially seeing what he did with his legs in that Detroit game. Like that came out of nowhere. So do you, I think where did that come from? See, that's I might be be pushing the over uh, on the rushing yards for quarterbacks because I feel like when you get into more uh, stressful games, like big games, yeah. AFC, NFC championships, playoff, obviously, but the Super Bowl, yeah, the quarterback is going to go. Uh, my checkdowns covered. You know, my first targets covered. My checkdowns covered. <laughs> I got to get like four yards. He's gonna run. I got to run at least four yards here and get it. And so, it, but the Chiefs, though, they don't really have a defensive line that they used to have. They used to have Frank Clark. They used to have a few others that would just yeah. bust through. But the Niners run defense is shit right now. Why? It is so shitty. I don't know. Their run defense is awful. Really? Yes. I feel like their run defense is always was good all season. No. Well, the la- in these playoffs, it has been horrible. Mm. The secondary, their secondary has always, always made me more nervous, but their secondary is actually, I have much more confidence in their secondary than I do in their run defense. So do you think it's going to be a high scoring game? You think defenses, because the Chiefs aren't going to be able to stop anything. They're going to, tr- they're going to slow down CMC <sighs> here and there. They're going to slow down. But I think, is this going to be a college game where it's just all offense and it, the over is going to just get is, I, pummeled. Ugh. What is the over? You keep you you tell me your answer while I keep look while I look up what the over is. Oh, over under. I just I, I can't. I don't want to jinx them. I don't know. The over and under is forty seven and a half. So that means this game's going to go forty eight if you go over, and that's twenty four to twenty seven. Obviously, it's twenty four twenty five, but I mean that's like a twenty four twenty seven game, twenty one twenty seven game, like that. In my, 28, 21, that's going to – I think they're going to hit. They're going to hit the over on that. Oh Has to hit the over. This is going to be, a, in my opinion, probably a higher scoring game. If you're telling me that the that the Niners defense can't stop the run, yeah. that's where they're going to load up freaking uh, Kelsey as a fullback in like where they do like that try yeah, like that diamond thing Ugh. where they like – he Mahomes pitches yeah, it yeah, to yeah. whoever, whoever's open. Yeah, they, they got to – I don't know. Will they double up on Kelsey? Yeah, dude, the Niners, man. I can. I. I seriously don't know. Like, I, like I said, I have a much more. I have a much better feeling about them going into this game. But I almost want them to be underdogs, and they're not technically they're underdogs. Not, and they're not technically underdogs. You, like, which is weird to think of their so, team as. But they're so. Do- the thing is, they're so dominant, and they're going against the Chiefs, who. I, in my opinion, have underperformed this year. Yeah. As a fantasy owner of Patrick Mahomes, there's a point where I named my team. Yeah, their team, team was falling apart. Yeah, he must sucks. Like, it was like, he must sucks my D. Is, is Tony playing? He, he sucks is Tony my, playing? my D. Tony who? Their wide, re- their awful wide receiver. Kadarius. Is it Kadarius? Kadir- oh, no. he's. I think he's injured. Oh, because everybody was saying that he had a somebody. I was hearing that he had a chance to play. You might be right, but will he? Will they let him? Play? Rashid, Rashid, not Rashid. Rashid Rice is questionable. George Kittle is questionable. Yeah. Toes or something. Armstead. Mc, McKinnon is a sports hernia. Been there. Um, Me too. You had a hernia. Yeah. Was it from pregnancy or from soccer? No, it was from soccer. And it was I think it was a combination of soccer and working at Safeway because I was doing all the heavy lifting. Where was that at? I mean, like, no, where, you don't have to tell me where, but, like, is it, can we talk about where? Mine was on my belly button. No. Well, Harper had a belly button hernia. Yeah. Me and Harper, I go through something with my finger. She goes something with her finger. Oh, yeah. But yeah. We, we might yeah. Be. You know she had a concussion? Did I tell you that? No. You can edit this out. No, I'm gonna, we'll talk about this. <laughs> What happened? No, my hernia is yeah. like right here. You still have it? No, I had it. I had surgery. Yeah, surgery. They, they yeah. tucked it back in. Yeah, they put the the mesh. Little mesh. Yeah. Can you feel the mesh at all? No, no. So they, but uh, that was I was still in high school when that happened. And then you hear about all these lawsuits dude, nowadays the about the mesh. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think I've had. I haven't had any issues. I don't know. But I don't really know what the lawsuits are about. All I keep seeing are these mesh. What if hernia mesh lawsuits? Yeah. What if? 
What if did you have mesh lining as no. well? No. No. They they they, they said uh, your body's so incredible. No, they said. Uh, have you seen this picture It'll of you laying on a couch? On its own. <laughs> Uh, no, they, they said uh, they said that it was just small enough where they could have they just tucked it back in. Like when I went when I went into the doctor before I got like this is when I went for my uh, like pre op or whatever. They, they're like a month before the dude just stood there and just took his finger like I was a pill poked Pillsbury, it back in and he tried <laughs> like I was a Pillsbury doughboy. Yeah. He's just like Argh! you could probably get these things back in, <laughs> and I'm like oh. Harper's, I mean, I think she was young enough that hers, How just, she hers, hers? just fixed hers on its own. Does she have a bad, uh, like they pull too hard when they when they tie it up her? No, uh, I don't think so. I think, it, you know, just a baby and just crying a lot. It's just that muscle that you're, you're constantly working yes. or whatever. Yeah. And it just kind of popped out. It was totally normal. It went away. Yeah. She kind of has a little bit of an Audi. And she actually asked me about it the other day. She's like, mommy, why does your belly button look like that? And mine looks like this. I was like, oh, you have a cute little Audi. Yeah. Nothing, yeah. Nothing, it's just from our little hernia. Nothing wrong with that. No. We're not. We're, we support Audis and Annies. Yeah. Yeah. We're a belly button. We, we don't show. Uh, what's that? What, when you're equal equality for all things. What? Like you're equal equality for all things. Is that even a thing? Equal know. equality? That's like a That's double like negative. That's like the same thing. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Equal equality. <laughs> Equals, equal <laughs> equality, equality equals equality equality <laughs> <laughs> equalization of the equality <laughs> equals <laughs> what do you, who do you think do you think that the niners will will pull this one here's what i'm betting this is what i think this is this is you got to bet with your money you want to bet oh what do you mean you want to have a 20 dollar bet on this thing oh god i don't know i oh, i'm so nervous this is making me more nervous. I've been good all week because I haven't been thinking about it. Here's my philosophy on this. <sighs> Let's think about it really hard right now since you haven't th- thought about it. It's hard for week. a team to win back to back Super Bowls. But it's also hard but 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 they know how to win. And that's the thing. I hate them so much. Either this is my opinion, either Brock Purdy wins the MVP and absolutely smokes them. Just comes out of like they weren't just expecting it. They crush. weren't it's, expecting it's just, it. You're thinking, who's going to get it? It's going to be Christian uh. McCaffrey. No, Brock Purdy absolutely just crushes people, or he crumbles, crumbles like he did well, against Baltimore. He crumbled even underneath the Lions a bit. He came back in the second half, yeah. but the first half, according to my app. Uh, he he didn't look he didn't look that good. And he had an awful game against Green Bay. But I mean, it was raining the yeah. elements, and I, I guess he's got smaller than normal hands and couldn't grip the ball. And he, but he he stepped up when it, he needed to in that mm. fourth quarter and had what one one good drive. <laughs> but he ended up helping win the game. Yeah, and so it's so it, in my opinion, you take the seasoned quarterback Ugh. over. Ugh. But now let's look backwards in time. Okay? We're going to look mm-hmm. backwards in time. Eli beat Brady. You mm-hmm. wouldn't ex- you wouldn't expect Twice. that. Twice. You wouldn't expect that. Twice. Russell beat Peyton at that they time in 2013. Yeah. You wouldn't that expect that. That was a big season for Peyton. Russell almost beat Brady, but Ru- but Brady <laughs> but came he, back, they, but he they, didn't. But they yes. They didn't run the ball. Yes. We're moving on. Uh, uh, that was such a great we're game. We're moving on. That was such a great game. <laughs> they uh but Matty Ice lost like they were up against Brady and Brady beat Matty Ice. It was like twenty eight to three and then Oh yeah, that was yeah. what uh Garoppolo lost to Mahomes, but they were both Mahomes younger. Um and then last year it was Mahomes versus uh Hurts. They lost to the Eagles. Yeah. No, they beat the Eagles. Sorry, they beat, they beat the, Eagles. the Eagles. You got, in my opinion, you have to go. You got, and even Andy Reid has has had more experience. Yeah. So either Brock Purdy plays the game of his life, and is the or or he's just gonna fumble the bag, and 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 so 
So what what's your answer? My answer is... Are you not is, ready to give an answer yet either? No, no. So here... <clears throat> here I think it's a 30% chance that the Niners are going to just... Purdy's going to rock, rock it out. I think it's a 70% chance that Mahomes is going to... But can the Niners still win if Purdy doesn't have the game of his life? Because they have so many weapons. No. Even if Purdy has a subpar game, no. the Niners could still win it. No. And there, here's why. They couldn't just run it. Dan Campbell. Get, like He should get a Super Bowl ring <laughs> if, if, the, if the Niners win. <laughs> because <clears throat> it was Dan Campbell. It was Dan Campbell. Purdy came back in the second half, but Dan Campbell literally said, here you guys go. Oh, wait. We got the opportunity again? Well, here, oh, here no, you go again. No, here you guys go. Oh, wait. We got the opportunity <laughs> again? Here you guys go. It was twice. It wasn't three times. It, it was twice. pretty much three times. <laughs> it was pretty much three times. Because there was even a point where it's like, why don't you kick the field goal here and then just... Yeah. But they went, they went, they got they the touchdown, they got the two point conversion. But even then, it was like, just kick the freaking field goal yeah. and go for an onside Get kick. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Gosh, the gamble! <laughs> I would, I, okay, I, I don't, because I know you screenshotted it probably, but I would have been okay with Detroit going to the Super Bowl. And I'm saying that obviously on everyone, record. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've never been. I think I I would have been. It's not like it would have been against the Eagles, or it's not like it was against right. the Hawks, where I just wanted to destroy them. Like I would have been okay with the Lions going to the Super Bowl. But Dan Campbell <laughs> would lose it in the Super <laughs> the Bowl Super at that Bowl. point. Yeah, I don't know. And so here, I think if you're going Chiefs, Lions don't beat the Chiefs. No, but the Lions can't. The Chiefs can't stop the run, and the Lions and the run. Niners. And the Niners can run. Yep. Well, they do what they did during the last Super Bowl where they ran it the whole – the Niners had that game. Yeah. And then they lost it, I think it was probably the fourth quarter, when all of a sudden they started throwing the ball. So stupid. <clears throat> but, hey, Joe Flacco wins Comeback Award of the Year over Damar. Did he really? Ha Damar Hamlin. Oh, is it the NFL Honor? Is, is NFL it tonight? Honor. Yeah, it's tonight. I thought it was usually on, like, the – The day before, the night before. I thought so. It's not tonight. It'll be. It should be Saturday night. I just got the notification. Really? Yeah. Oh, Joe Flacco. Um. Did Gino win it last year? Who won it last Gino? year? Gino? Oh, I don't know. She played well. Um. All right. So, what's your prediction? I think the Chiefs are going to win. I think the Chiefs are going to. I have to. I have to. I have to manifest, and I have to think that the Niners are going to win. Do you believe in manifestation right now? Yeah. But if I manifest against like your George manifestation, Kittle, I will be back. I will be back here. But what with if the I vengeance? But what if I manifest against your manifestation? <sighs> he would. <laughs> Here's my manifestation. I have to think. I have to. Dan I Campbell. have to believe that the Niners can win. And, and I, I don't want I, – I do. But do you think it's going to be – okay, so I would say one of the biggest – It cannot come down to a field goal. The I biggest surprises <laughs> in, his, in, in all of the Super Bowl games, there have been a few of them. The Niners giving up the lead in the fourth quarter as one of them. The Falcons giving up the lead 23 at halftime. Manning beating Brady Manning, twice. Yeah. But, one, yeah, Manning, the comeback there. Mm-hmm. Russell and the Seahawks coming through and just cr they destroyed just the Broncos flying through them. Yeah. And so I think either a dude everyone in the world right now is going why why are like I don't I think if it right now if the Chiefs were favored over the Niners one and a half you'd have less people thinking Wait, why are the Niners not favored here? Currently, you have more people going, wait, why are, why are the Niners favored here and why are the Chiefs not favored here? That's what's blowing my mind right now. Like, that's the thing. 
it's like, but then, but, but, but if you look at the freaking Chiefs, they have Kelsey, they have Rasheed Rice, Isaiah Pacheco, and Taylor Swift. That's that's the only <laughs> offensive threats that they <laughs> that they have. Yep. While the the, <clears throat> the Niners are just stacked. And and I would even I wouldn't put Purdy on the same pedestal as Mahomes, but Purdy is up There's there. There's a lot of controversial Dude, talk about Purdy. Purdy was a an, lot. was an MVP candidate. I know until basically until that Baltimore game. Yeah, but and then Lamar probably took it from him. Yeah, what happened to poor Lamar? I I am I the Niners have a I think they have a, obviously a much better chance to beat the Chiefs than they would have if Baltimore had been going to the Super Bowl. Niners are so good. And and you got to respect Can they do it? it. You got to respect Can they do it? it. <sighs> I hope not. But you here's won't, the thing. You won't be you won't be happy, you won't be excited. If, I mean I won't care. I'm flying out it's at, during halftime. I'm leaving I know. What's Vegas up with that? because I didn't want to deal with all the freaking people leaving airport. The airport. What if you saw? I mean, I'm just probably like impossible. Yeah. If you somehow weasel your way into some ticket, like, what if you get one ticket? You're just gonna leave Jamie and be like, "Peace." No, I'd sell it. I'd You'd pay for my sell trip. Sell the ticket. I'd pay for my trip. Your if, trip. Your trip is basically free. Well, flights and gambling, but and that was gonna, the flight really expensive. No, it was like about you like yours. It wasn't that bad. Man, those tickets are starting at what ten? Yeah. But here's the thing. I would sell is it. That, is that higher than normal? I don't, I don't know how much Super Bowl I tickets I think for. I think they're typically a few. But I had some buddies go to the Seahawks game at, in New York uh, when they beat the Broncos. Beat Broncos, yeah. yeah. And, and so they, they were able to afford it. I don't know. Inflation. Um, but I, you know, I just think that, that I'd sell it. Really? I'd sell it. Really? Because I don't. Because you don't care about the game. This isn't a game that you. Dude, even the, just to experience. The I was Super Bowl? so excited, and then I was like, "Wait a second. And this is when I knew I was gonna get. When I was gonna get. Oh, was this before tickets. you knew who was playing in the Super Bowl? Oh. Yeah. So oh, I was oh, given. Oh. I was. We were given these. Uh, these rooms, like <clears> at the beginning. So I was at like, the beginning well, of what? This playoffs. Oh. Okay. And so I was like, well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to – whatever team makes it, I'm going to buy a jersey and I'll just wear the jersey of who I want to win. And I started thinking about it. I'm like, who do I – What? So jer- now I'm going <laughs> to – What jersey am I going to buy? And then it's like, wait a second. I would probably only buy one jersey out of all the players – all the team. Maybe the Lions I might buy like freaking – I don't know. A Dan Campbell jersey. But <laughs> – but it was Josh Allen. I would probably bought a Josh if the Bills would have made would have made it. And I, and oh, Lamar won it. Oh, he did. Lamar tops Prescott and Purdy to claim MVP for second time. I we we saw that come in. Oh my gosh! Oh, but my. still hasn't been to a Super Bowl. Don't don't talk. Don't talk right now. <laughs> Don't you talk right now. Don't you freaking ever talk again. People would have lost their minds, I think, if it would have been a Baltimore-Detroit Super Bowl. Is Taylor going to come to the Super Bowl? Is she going to be there? Because she's she started her, her tour in Asia. You're not even freaking listening. Throw pillows. <laughs> oh, the, in Southeast Asia. <laughs> Oh! Every time I see that ref. <laughs> Every time I think of you, I think of you. Southeast Asia, and that's not the Southeast Asia part. It's the part where we're laughing our asses off at the freaking. Do they still make those? The, uh, you know, the bad lip reading. I don't know. I usually because they did it every season. They for... were so funny. Yeah, those are the best. <laughs> just, just, just Pete Carroll just chomping away. <laughs> Oh, Pete. Yeah. Oh, well. Who did, who did the Hawks who, uh, hire? Uh, Mike McDonald. Mike Funny McDonald. Funny thing is, is they also hired a Harbaugh. What? Yeah, a kid like, of one of the Harbaugh's. And I don't know if it was John or Jim, but it was one, to be like a special teams coach or something. Oh, interesting. So, <laughs> so now I'm like, and then the Huskies hired Belichick's son, the one that looked like the freaking redneck that would with the with the mullet that would just you never you never saw this dude no he was on the patriots like for like a defensive coach for like years 
and, and he's Belichick's son. Belichick's son. So now the Huskies oh. have Belichick, and now the Seahawks have Harbaugh's kid. Weird. So now I'm like, it's kind of wild that Bill didn't get picked up somewhere. Yeah, he's too old. Yeah, he's too old, and I think nobody. I think people realize that he's really not that. They don't want great of a coach. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> he, I, I guess he Look sucked he before Brady came. Brady shows Brady up. Brady showed up. He had that amazing career when I mean, Brady was he, there. And then as soon as Brady leaves... He had Drew Bledsoe prior to it, and they did pretty well. But it would be, yeah. It's like, at this point, you're he's older. He's go aged be a, out of Yeah, the go just be a GM. Go go retire. But it, give me your freaking prediction. Like, you want to score? I want to score. 24-21 Niners. And I really hope I didn't just jinx it. That's the under. Twenty four. What did you say? Twenty four. Twenty four. Twenty one. And I said it's over forty seven and Niners. a half. I think it comes down to field goal. Ugh. I think Ugh. Dan Campbell runs out there and kicks it himself, <laughs> and the Mariner Moose tackles him. <laughs> no, I think that. I think that. Ugh. I it just ma- that makes me sick to my stomach. Thinking I think it's going to. Go it's going to be. I have to. CMC's is going to run, so maybe that is the under. <sighs> Because they're gonna just take some time, but there's but they all but the Niners have just dude, CMC can freaking break an eighty yard run. Debo can break an eighty yard run too, or they can throw it to Ayuk <laughs> or freaking of Kittle, guys, freaking. and it's eighty yard run there too, or eighty yard catch. It's crazy. Their offense is so good, so like, powerful. La- it was their defense that carried them last time, and it's yeah. their offense this time. Like their defense is still amazing, it's still stacked, but. I'm taking the over. Ooh. Taking the over. I got to take my squares. I'm going 31 to 27. Chiefs. Chiefs, Chiefs over. Ugh. The last two. Did we do one of these yes. for the for the 2012? Yes. Mm. 2012 Super Bowl. Were you doing this in 2012? No, no, no. Was it 2012 that they, the Niners played the Ravens? Might they lost been. to the Ravens? Might have been. I've been doing this podcast for eight years, so no. Okay. But we did okay. the last one. Well, we did the last one and they lost. So if they lose again, I'm going to blame it on you. Have I ever showed you this before? No. Oh yes, you've shown this. Oh, to okay, me. Never mind. It's a card that I got at the at a card show for five bucks. <laughs> and it's a piece of Sherman's jersey and a piece of Kaepernick's Kaepernick. jersey. It's wild how uh Rich he is all about the Niners. I mean, yeah, obviously Richard, he played yeah. for the Niners too, but he I, it's just it's yeah. wild to me that he is Does he visit the Niners? You ever so gung ho on the Niners. Huh? He visits the he went he visited the Seahawks games. He goes to the Seahawks games and visits. He was at the playoff games. He was? Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Did yeah. you did so did you soften on Sherman since he became a Niner fan oh, or of course. Uh, player? Of course. Yeah, he was at. He went to the Super Bowl with them too. Yeah, he was playing in that twenty nineteen. How did he play? Did, did he play that much? <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember, I don't remember at all. He, oh. that was, he was awful. He was awful that that last year. So years ago, when this happened, twenty nineteen, I bought a camera because I used to house Joey Hollenbeck's boat in my in Is my she going to Vegas though. <laughs> that's what Homer's going to Vegas. Oh no! Is he going to the game? Uh, he he's entered. He sends me this updates every freaking day. Homer, oh, is that like a I love you. Is that like a... But you text me more than my children and my kids <laughs> and everyone else. But like, he's entered every game raffle th- raffle that you can oh, win. Oh yeah, along with a th- million other people. Yeah. But yeah. he's like, dude, if I get the game, he goes, if oh. I win both of these, I'm selling. What? I'm like, what? You're gonna win both of these raffles? <laughs> 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 but hey. I'm rooting for you. There's going to be so much cool. Like, do you guys have anything like, um, like what's the itinerary? Like, are you, okay. do you guys have things planned? Do you guys get to go to some cool events? Do you guys get to go to any, <clears throat> anything cool that you're, or, or is it just to be around there for Super Bowl weekend and just hang out and just be around? That's, that was the original goal. And then we got like the update, like updated rules. There's no rules? back, yeah. No backpacks. Oh, like as you're clear, wa- clear bags. You gotta walk like on the strip. You gotta mm. treat it like the like mm. you can't stop. You have to keep walking. 
There's going to be people there. They're going to monitor and oh, make you keep walking. it's not walking. the normal Vegas. Yes. Okay. So it's like we like to go to this place and that place and walk <clears> and <throat> see. But right now they're like saying like. That sounds like more of a hassle than anything. Yes. So okay. I've never been to like a, uh, uh, <clears throat> a New York uh, New Year's Eve. Obviously, I've never been there. Be fun. But it's it's this is the highest security they've ever had. Like it's probably the same sort of rules. Like they just don't want terrorist attacks. They don't want yeah. things to get out yeah. of hand. Any yeah. weird shit going on. Yeah. Um. So I don't know. We'll see. I, I, but oh, you guys don't have. So you guys have nothing planned. Nothing you have planned. Nothing. At the you're just gonna go hang out. I mean, they, yeah. <clears throat> nothing planned. <clears throat> We're gonna go and just see where the world takes us. And if, if it's a slot machine, it's a slot machine. <laughs> Like, I just have this weird feeling like you're gonna weasel your way into some tickets somehow. <laughs> I just, I just do, and you're just gonna end up sending me pictures and being oh, like, "Ha ha, I'm here and you're not." Just on the field. But you also the... just said though that if you win one single ticket, you're gonna sell it. Sell it. So if it was the Hawks and you were just going down there to hang out, yeah, you would go to. The I'd game. go to the game. What game? What Super Bowl would you go to? If it was the Lions Chiefs, would you go to the game? Probably. What? Lions Chiefs. Probably, yeah. If it was the Lions Baltimore, would you go to that game? Lions Baltimore, I'd go to that game. That would be a badass game. If it was the Steelers and the Seahawks, I'd probably or, or the, the, <laughs> the, the Steelers. Saints, the Saints, the and Saints the, and the Seahawks. Seahawks, I'd probably go to that game too. <laughs> Landon wants to play you so bad in Madden. Would I? He cr- is would so I cr- he is so funny. Would I crush He's his so dreams? Cute. Probably, because I, I, so I've never really watched Madden, but he gets up like two hundred to ten, and he's like, Mom, I'm. You know, I'm doing so good. So one of And then his Super Bowls are always like the Niners versus like oh, the Cowboys. I, he really loves I'm like Will he can't cry? you can't do that. Will it he cannot cry? be a Super Bowl. Will he will cry? Because right now he's only playing the easy the mode. game or whatever. Yeah, or, yeah I'm like you need to up your level or I was whatever, a ranked but player. You were a what? I was a ranked player in like twenty fourteen on PlayStation. What? Yeah. Oh. In the ultimate team aspect oh. of things. I was the top 0.1% of like a million. What? Yeah. Oh, well then, yeah, you would probably crush his dreams. It's been a while. I, I had to quit because I was spending like two grand on the game every year. Oh. Yeah. What? Why do you end up spending that much money? So what they did, they which is the most fun thing I've ever done in my entire life, other than, you know, probably go to Vegas and <clears throat> reproduce, uh, has been... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Is... Yeah. Uh, they have Madden Ultimate Team, mm-hmm. where you're not a team. You create your team. My, my team name was... Uh, oh, is that like Fantasy? Yes. It's a lot like Fantasy, but you don't get a, you don't get to pick your team. So what you do... I'll tell you how. You don't get like to randomly choose. You, so my name, my team name was when Kanye had uh, on, his out, on one of the... Too many L's, that's why your win's low. So my team name, that's why your win's low. Uh, too many Urkels on your team. Oh, that's, that's why, why your wins, wins low. low. Uh-huh. And so my team, that's why your wins low. Ha ha. So good. Ha 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 ha. So, ha ha. <laughs> Shout out, yay. Yeezy. <laughs> Yeezy. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Madden Ultimate Point Team Kanye. would be, you would earn coins playing online games, and you'd spend those coins on, like, virtual pack of football cards. And whoever what? you got in that, you would place in your team if oh. you wanted them. Well, it came to a point where then as that evolved and that got bigger and better and you'd have like really awesome rare cards, because not everyone got the same card, You and then they would start putting chemistries together where it'd be like chemistry as in if you if they played at the same college, they'd, be, they'd play better. If they played on the same NFL team, they'd play better. So there was a point where I had like Russell Wilson and I'd have like Doug Baldwin and I, I, I would just chem them out to where their chemistry, chemistry them out to where they'd be awesome and the rare cards. Mm-hmm. And then they started <clears throat> selling the packs for real money. So then I, hey, I'm going to buy some packs with oh, real money. Before you know it. Next thing I know, I'm like. For a full season, I've spent like three grand. Oh my gosh! And I'm like, and Jamie's like, "Are you spending money?" I'm like, "Nope." <laughs> yeah, it's just regular, just regular stuff over here. I know I said a credit card on the file, but uh, that's just for funsies. 
but uh, but then I, I so now I haven't so I haven't played Madden and like well I haven't oh, bought maybe he a, would kick your butt he I don't might, know. I, I haven't bought a Madden in like three years four years and the only time I've ever played was one time I re-downloaded the game because Megan had a boyfriend come over who said he was really good and I was like oh, I'll play you and I so I re-downloaded the, the game from like five years ago or three years ago um and it wasn't it wasn't my team it was just like you know he plays his, so the the ease the best thing to do to make it most fair is you, you both have the same team so if I, if he's the cowboys i play as the cowboys what? so we have the same team okay it's it, it's it's even okay I smoked that dude smoked him <laughs> smoked him he scored one touch on me i was pissed i smoked him like freaking 60 <laughs> something to, to to seven yeah and so he was like, ah, oh, yeah, you're actually pretty good. I'm like, yeah, I freaking know I am. I so mean, you do have a daughter named Madden. So my daughter I, is I guess Madden. I just assumed that you got the new Madden every Not, year. Yeah, no, I can't, I can't control myself. Oh. I'm a guy that will just spend stupid amounts of credit card money on the dumbest stuff in the world. My name is Travis <sighs> Joseph Brasser. Brasser. <laughs> Kenny, the third. Gore, <sighs> the first. You really like Frank Gore. I, I love like. Frank Gore. I'm a big fan of Vernon Davis, though. Oh, Vern. Dude, when his alarm clock oh. goes off, I just always pray. I'm like, dude, please, when his alarm goes off the next morning, please don't let him get a concussion. <laughs> please don't let that sound be so loud that he gets a concussion. <laughs> oh, Vern. <laughs> oh, Vern. He was an early game scratch today. Uh, he was scheduled to play, uh, but he put on his... He put on his helmet, <laughs> got a concussion, and then some guy came ran by and <laughs> tapped him on the head, and said, "Hey, have a good game today." And, and he's, he's concussed. He's in the he's in the tent. Concussion protocol. He's in the tent. Oh, <laughs> oh man! All right, so you say 24, 24 21, 21 Niners. Niners uh, MVP. Purd. I mean, Purdy Pur- or CMC. Purd's the word. Or could Debo come out and just have a game? Debo's going to get injured in the second quarter. <laughs> Debo is the... He, actually, I ain't know, protecting nothing. Literally, Debo... You know who he is? Hmm. Debo, if if you took him and it, like all of a sudden, like all of a sudden Shaggy and Scooby-Doo and all like the like the Mystery Machine people show up. Is he Vernon? Up, they pull the mask <laughs> off and it's Vernon the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> So injury prone, but dude, so is CMC, and dude. I mean, he came to the Niners, and he's just been yeah. knock on wood, he's been healthy. Yeah, because because they know because per, yeah, it doesn't rely. It, do, it CMC was so good. He was meant to be on the Niners. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Anyway, go. Oh, so let's do the let's do the shout outs real quick. Give me your shout out for your like. What do you think? Like like whatever you want. You can shout out your dad for for making you be a Niners oh. fan. You can shout out. I mean, family. I feel like I'd have to shout out uh, my family down in California, mm-hmm. allowing me to come down and hang out with them this weekend yes. and watch this game. Because I do. I figure like if they lose, at least I get to be hanging out with my family. It's not like it's... It's still a win. I, it's it's even, a win-win, even, no even, matter what. Even if they lose, yep. we all won at the end. <laughs> Thank you, San Francisco 49ers, for <laughs> uniting our family for another NFL season. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> shit out? Is it called a shit it's out? A shit out if you want. You don't have to do it. Shit one. out to you? Yeah, you can shit And out. Mahomes? Yeah. And the Chiefs? Yep. I hate them? Yep. And I mean, obviously, I got to give a shout out to m- my husband. Who? My husband. Joseph Robert and my babies. Dude. And also, of course, my my parents and also my in-laws because they are the ones watching the kids this weekend because Joe, unfortunately, has to work. So I had to figure out where to put the kids. I love it. Love everything about it. All right. Let's do this real quick. We're going to shout out the uh, – I just saw this thing. I've never seen this before in my entire life life as a patreon or having patreon you're gonna send another picture of me getting fat cool what you, all you do is take video little stupid i'm not videos. taking don't flatter yourself um, I wish don't I could, flatter yourself I wish I flatter i'm not myself. taking a picture of you right now kellen hall rachel heater what the heck what how how old is this thing oh 
Oh, these are these are from way back in the day. <laughs> Fuck Rachel Heater. All right, I got. Uh, <laughs> she got a free shout out. Ha- I don't know what's happening. <clears throat> all right, here's all the Patreons that 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 uh so that support me monthly. Go to pra- patreon.com, p a t r e o n dot com, and search Full Buddy Cast. And you can become a Full Buddy Cast member if you want to monthly donate to me. I can would I love that. Like a dollar. You can go five dollars. Buy me a can beer. I do dollar. You can go five dollars. Five dollars low. Can I do a dollar? Oh, okay. five, ten, twenty, fifty. Okay, we got we'll do a dollar. We got Kellen five dollars. <laughs> we got Kellen Hall, Holly Graff, Adam Kenny Art, Seth Loop, Cassie Spencer, Amanda Keating, Shekinah Starver, Jared Skelly, Homer Robertson, right. Ben Jared Illman. Skelly. Yeah, we do the scary Skellies actually every once in a while. What does that mean? He'll I don't send know what us. He'll send me uh, uh, questions to ask people, and we call them the scary, the scary, the, the scary, scary Skellies. Skellies, the scary yes. Skellies. Ho- uh, let's see, where was I? <clears throat> uh, Jared Skelly, <clears throat> Homer Robertson, Ben Illman, Jamie <clears throat> Roberts. <clears throat> Jamie Kenny, <laughs> Apollo Doodle, <laughs> Jackson Sido, <laughs> Sasha Carey Lynn, Edison City Alehouse, <laughs> Thomas Savage, <laughs> Councilman Anthony Wright, Cameron Stratton, Catchy Hoban, Homer the Vet, and Jackie Van Hoof. Free members. I hit click free free members. Ouch. There's a free member option. I've never seen this before in my entire time. This is the first <laughs> time I've seen this. Can I be a free member? I guess. <laughs> Sage Hills Golf and RV Resort. <laughs> Is a free. Member? I knew they, they used to be on there for for money, but oh, they took away their. But the but the crazy thing is, Trudy. There's a Trudy on here for free. Trudy. Bizarre. I know one Trudy. Maybe she thought I was saying Tru- Trudy margaritas this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Trudy. Trudy Margaritas. Thank you very much for listening, everyone. Go Chiefs! Go Niners! Go Chiefs! Go Niners! Go Niners! Go Niners! Go Go Niners! Get up! Welcome to the greatest of the greatest. A podcast that you never knew you needed. With interviews from people you have never met or maybe you have once or twice asking questions and knowing more than you want to know about them you are listening